I'm here with an old friend of mine. Old, and we go back a long way, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> it's Ben Fox, who's the gymnastics chairman, and he's also an executive member of the Maccabea USA Sports for Israel. And Ben and I actually competed in 1981 on the same team for the Maccabea Games. What's your favorite memory of that trip? Because I've got a bunch of them, but... Uh, yeah, I think some of the training was the funnest when we trained yeah. at uh, Wingate. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, the games themselves, the competition at Haifa was great. I remember we all dropped our English names and used our Hebrew names on that trip. That I was had, fun. I had a good time with that. But we're here today because uh, Ben continued on with the gymnastics movement and was uh, extremely involved in bringing the athletes here for this 2009 Maccabea Games. And I know that you guys had a, had a competition at Bar Art Connor Gymnastics Academy, my old teammate from 84. Mm -hmm. uh, describe how that all happened and what it was like to host that event. Well, it was really quite amazing. It was more than anything we could expect. Um, I got involved back into the Maccabi USA uh, events with, in 19, uh, 2003. And um, Fred Turoff, a friend we both know, a nice sure. Jewish guy, coached mm -hmm. at Temple, he asked me they needed a chairman for gymnastics for the 2005 games. And I said, well, what do I need to do? And he said, well, just hold a little meet, pick the kids, and you know, then that's all you have to do. So it sounded pretty easy. Uh, we run a lot of gymnastics competitions at Bart Connor Gymnastics. And so we did that. I got the word out. We also have International Gymnast Magazine, so I was able to publicize it, and also through USA Gymnastics. And uh, we had about 40 kids at that competition and selected a team for the 2005 Games. Um, Maccabi USA must have liked what I've done, and they asked me to become part of the executive committee and continue on. And so I kind of had this idea, since we've run a lot of gymnastics meets, I said, why don't I, for the 2009 Games, instead of just having a trials, I want to try to get more gymnasts and people involved in the Maccabi USA movement and reach out to see as many people as we can. Um, the trials is just for the high-level gymnasts, and but there's a lot of Jewish kids out there participating in gymnastics, and I thought it'd be really neat to bring them all together at one event and then see the high-level athletes. So about a year before the Games, I thought I'd make a Jewish gymnastics invitational in Norman, Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and also the trials to meet the selected first time team. ever. I mean, mm -hmm. Okay. And so... Um, we publicized it, and I got the word out, and we ended up having 120 kids come from all over the United States to Fantastic. Norman. Mm -hmm. uh, 60 of them were in what we call an age group competition, which is lower level athletes, um, kids who are beginners, intermediates, who really wouldn't have a chance to make the team. Mm -hmm. And um, and then we also held the trials, which we had all the high level athletes come. And right. it was a two day event. We did a nice, uh, the kids came in on Saturday, we did a Havdalah ceremony at the University of Oklahoma's Hillel. Uh -huh. and. Nice. Um, that was very nice. We had more people in the Hillel, I think, they'd ever had in at one time uh -huh. in Oklahoma. Yeah. And then we had a banquet for 300 people. And um, the next day we had two sessions of competition and selected the team. Mm -hmm. So if you build it, they will come, apparently. It worked. Uh, <laughs> yes. More than everybody's expectations. Uh -huh. It was really neat. And did you get that feeling? I know the, the term Rayut that uh, Phil has taught me, which is a feeling of camaraderie and the, the bringing of people together. Did you feel that magic happen? Oh, it was amazing. And, and not only me, because I'd been involved with doing some of these things before, but what was really neat was not only the high-level athletes, but the younger kids and their parents. They mm -hmm. were just so excited to be part of you know, kids, you know, when you're in a sport like gymnastics, you just love it. I mean, sure. it's just what you do. And I got so many emails after the event that said, wow, what it was so neat for us to go to gymnastics meets, which we always do, you know, 10 or 11 a year. And but to go to something with our heritage and the Judaism and the Maccabi, right. they said it was some of the neatest, probably one of the best meets they'd ever been to, mm -hmm. as far as the whole experience. It right. was really neat. Yeah, you're reminding me back in '81 when we competed here and the the magic that happened. What was your takeaway from the Maccabee Games in 1981? Well, it was um, well, it was great being on a team with you. Obviously, Thank we had you. some great <laughs> gymnasts. It was fun, and we won. Yes, so we that did. was really neat too. Uh -huh. um, just the whole experience of of being part of. Uh, a group of all these Jewish athletes from around the world. And um, actually, as I've gotten older and away from it, I've appreciated it more what, what I was involved in, and that's why I continue to be part of it. Yeah, that's funny. The same thing happens to me. The older I get, the more I look back and say, wow, there's new meaning now to that, and the importance of it is, is so meaningful, and it takes on new meanings all the time as you get older. But what's it like? You went from athlete to coach to now ahead of a delegation, and we're giving these kids, I'm saying we, but it's actually you, mm -hmm. are giving these kids a chance to experience the magic that we felt way back when. What does that make you feel like? There's a lot of purpose in that, isn't there? Yeah, it makes me feel good. It's something that I can, uh, something I can do for our sport and our heritage, and 
American Jews and also in Israel, something that I can do to give back to help continue um, promoting sport and Judaism and culture. Um, as you know, we grow up in a society where right now it's, it's uh, the religion and the culture is sometimes gets mixed in very easily. Mm -hmm. And what's a real need is I see a lot of kids who they're gymnasts or they're athletes, and they go, wow, this might be neat. It's something I could do because I'm Jewish. I can go to Israel. This would be cool. Right. And then they come here. In fact, in 2005, there was a girl that I coached who, she's actually from my gym, mm -hmm. and um, she made the team. And she was not very religious at all, just, you know, her parents are Jewish. And that's it. Right. And she made the team, and she came here. And when she came back, I mean, it was just unbelievable. And the stories of the young people who then identify with Israel and their culture and their history, and it's changed because only because they're in sport. And mm -hmm. so you get the religious kids who know their history and religion and they come to Israel, but you get a lot of kids who just know they're Jewish and then they come away with uh, just unbelievable experience. Yeah, and there's a the connection to it all. That's how I felt after I left. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, okay, I get it now. Yeah. And it's something that you take with you for the rest of your life. A, a very nice transformation occurs. Now, you have kids, and you personally have a, a daughter. Yeah, right she was in gymnastics. She did it till about her sophomore year, and then she doesn't okay. do it anymore. Now, did she come to the Maccabee Games as well? No, she didn't come last time, because okay. she would have just been a, a spectator. She wasn't good enough to make the team. Okay. Well, maybe she could come next time and enjoy the competition. And speaking of the competition, how do we look? How do the American gymnasts look? Um, they look good. Uh, our, our men's team, we have David Sender, who was our last the year was our U.S. national champion. Okay. He graduated from Stanford last year and he's a very good gymnast and then we have some other very good athletes too from some of the other universities that are on the team. Mm -hmm. um, the Israelis have some very good gymnasts though. They have uh, on the men's side they have a boy Alexander Shatilov. He was in the finals on floor exercise in Beijing oh, very and nice. he's made the all-around finals. They have a couple of good gymnasts too and then on the women's side we have a number of college gymnasts and high-level girls so Great. it should be very good. They're, you know in our country even if they're not in the elite program our gymnasts are very good and our juniors are very very good. We have some very good juniors, so it should be exciting to see it. Today's actually the first time I'll get to see the training mm -hmm. um, of the kids and the athletes and, and over at the center. Excellent. Well, we look forward to the competition. We thank you for everything you're doing for the sport of gymnastics, for Jewish kids, bringing them to Israel, and uh, let's enjoy the games. Well, thanks. Thanks and a lot, Ben. Thanks to JLTV, because that's yeah. going to be a, a great promotion for Maccabi USA and, and all around. There you have it. I don't even have to say anything. Thank you, Ben. JLTV, Mitch Gaylord, Ben Fox. We'll be right back.